Hi friends, here in this video, I would be explaining the problem on equilibrium condition. So, let's get started. Now, here is the question given in which it is said, calculate the force F, which is shown in this diagram here, acting on the crank as shown in figure below, to keep the crank in equilibrium. So, we have to find out what is the value of this force F. Now, the concept behind it would be, I will write it into the solution part. Since the given crank is in equilibrium, it is said in the data. So, therefore, the condition would be the summation of moments of all forces. Now, here when we see this crank, over it there is a 20 kN force. So, when this 20 kN force is acting, it would be producing a moment about this point because this crank is rotating about point B and this end is called as the fulcrum about which the lever rotates. So, fulcrum is the point about which the lever would be rotating or we can say oscillating in this manner and so here at point A 20 kN is acting distance from the fulcrum B is 200 mm which is the vertical distance and force is horizontal. So, they are both perpendicular to each other. So, there would be a moment produced at point B. Similarly, here we have F because of that also a moment would be produced. But this F is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees. So, remember in mechanics, whenever we have inclined forces, try to resolve them first because we have to resolve them and then use instead of using a single force. So, here when we see it is the force F is inclined at 60 degree with respect to the horizontal. So, there would be two components for this force. One is the horizontal component and its value would be since the angle is measured with respect to this horizontal line. So, that is the force into cos of the angle which is 60 degree and the vertical component would be F sin 60 degree. So, it means instead of using F these two components would be used that is the horizontal and vertical components. Now, I would be taking the moments of all forces about point B and equate it to zero because that is the condition of equilibrium. So, here when we see and as per the convention, whatever the clockwise forces are there or clockwise moments are there that would be treated as positive and anti-clockwise moments to be taken as negative. So, this 200 kilo Newton is producing a moment in an anti-clockwise sense. So, that would be minus 20 into 200 and here the condition is, I will write down, summation of moment of all forces about point B is equal to 0, clockwise moment positive, anti-clockwise negative. So, therefore, minus 20 into 200, then here out of the two components F cos 60 is passing through the same line of action as point B. So, there is no perpendicular distance between point B and F cos 60. So, its moment would be 0 because if the force is horizontal the perpendicular distance is vertical. So, there is no perpendicular distance between B and F cos 60. So, its component would be 0. I will write down it as 0. Then F sin 60 it is acting in the downward direction. So, when I take the moment about point B it would be in a clockwise direction. So, that would be positive. So, F sin 60 into 300. Is equal to 0. This value comes out to be minus 4000. And sin 60 into 300 multiplied by F when shifted over to the other side. The value is minus 259.81 F. So, negative gets cancelled from both the side and F would be 4000 divided by 259.81. So, the final value is 15.396 kN because we have taken 20 in terms of kN. So, the final force would also be in terms of kN. So, here we have calculated the value of an unknown force which is acting on the at the end of the crank by using the condition of equilibrium. At the end, if you will find my videos helpful, you can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your friends.
family and friends thanks for watching